if it was possible to travel anywhere in the universe, the next step in our epic journey would be traveling to our nearest major galaxy, which is Andromeda. It is 2.5 million light years away from Earth. It is the most distant naked eye object you can see in the night sky. Although several dozen minor galaxies lie closer to our Milky Way, the Andromeda galaxy is the closest large spiral galaxy to ours. Andromeda is the largest member of the local group. There are around 1 trillion stars in the Andromeda galaxy, compared to 400 billion stars from our own galaxy. Not only does it have a lot more stars than the Milky Way, but Andromeda is also enormous with a diameter of around 220,000 light years across, which is nearly one and a half times longer than the Milky Way. Despite that, the mass of the Andromeda galaxy is only 400 billion times that of our own Sun. The Milky Way is imagined to be considerably heavier because it probably possesses more dark matter and dark energy than the Andromeda galaxy. Unlike most of the other galaxies that are moving away from us due to the expansion of the universe. The Andromeda galaxy is moving towards the Milky Way at a whopping speed of around 80 miles per second. In about 4 billion years, both galaxies will collide with each other. They will probably have a triple nucleus for a while. The stars we are familiar with will also form new constellations, but eventually, the galactic collision will settle down, resulting in a brand new massive elliptical galaxy. According to the current understanding of physics, intergalactic travel is impossible. Andromeda is more than 2.5 million light years away which means that even light would take a longer period of time than humans have existed on this planet. A huge amount of energy will be required to escape the Milky Way galaxy's gravitational pull, so traveling to Andromeda with current technology would be impossible. The fastest thing ever built by humans is the Helios probe which reached 70 kilometers per second by using the sun as a gravitational slingshot. Assuming we used a similar method and gained similar speeds, it would still take about 10 billion years to reach Andromeda. The only way we can reach Andromeda is by using some kind of futuristic technology like wormholes or a warp drive. If you somehow managed to travel to Andromeda, what would you see? What would the galaxy look like? Like the Milky Way, Andromeda is also a barred spiral galaxy. It is estimated that Andromeda is about 25% more luminous than our own galaxy. So once you reach there you would see an amazing night sky full of stars. The galaxy is quite unique. Scientists have found stars of different types and ages in this galaxy. So you may see different types of stars that are as old as the universe. Another interesting thing about Andromeda is, it is full of black holes. The center of Andromeda is home to 26 known black holes. Like our own galaxy, there's also a supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy, with two others possibly orbiting as a binary pair. The black hole is around 140 million times that of the Sun. So watching the center of Andromeda with your own eyes would be breathtaking. One of the most amazing features of Andromeda is its double nucleus. Usually, most galaxies only have one nucleus at their center. But Andromeda hosts not one but two nuclei. At one nuclei sits a supermassive black hole that is about 200 million times more massive than our Sun. It is significantly larger than the black hole at the center of Milky Way, which is just about 4 million times more massive than our Sun. The other nuclei is considered to be a concentration of stars in an orbit around this huge black hole. We know quite a few things about Andromeda, but visiting the galaxy and observing it from up close would definitely help us unravel many unanswered questions about the galaxy. Andromeda had a very violent past, it was not always this big during its lifespan. The Andromeda galaxy has consumed at least two other galaxies and grown its distance. It's been consuming other galaxies throughout its lifespan, and the Milky Way galaxy is next on this list. Both the Milky Way and Andromeda are similar in terms of mass. They will collide with each other in roughly 4 billion years and form a huge elliptical galaxy called Milkometa. We will gain a trillion neighboring stars, anyone left alive will see an incredible night sky full of new stars. Our universe is huge, the farthest humans have ever been, is to the moon. We don't know if humans would ever travel to other galaxies, but you never know. 
Someday we might be able to colonize other galaxies. After all, today's science fiction is tomorrow's science fact.